right here, right now, we have a guest, David Wall. We're going to be talking about a brand new movie. The She's world right. premiere, the world of, premiere the of the announcement of, the of a the new movie, movie. Noel right. uh, that is going to be in theaters this December 7th. You know, it's an interesting picture, David. Of course, you were the lead actor. You wrote it, directed it. If somebody asks you, what is the film Noel about? What is the experience? What is the journey that they go on for an hour and a half in the mm. theater? What, how do mm. you answer that? I think I'd have to start with with where it where the sort of the inspiration came from. I mean, it it it. My family and I lived in New England for a number of years. We lived on, on Cape Cod. Cape Cod in the winter is pretty desolate. Right. And uh, every year near where we lived, they uh, this one this one family threw a Christmas party. Mm -hmm. Now this street's an old street. These trees are old. These were old whaling captains' homes from wow. the seventeenth, uh, seventeen eighteen hundreds. So. It was a crazy street, and this this Kinda street, eerie? Uh, yeah, very okay. much so in the winter, but <laughs> beautiful, kid, yeah, beautiful. For a kid, I'm sure. Sure, yeah. But this house, Christmas Eve, was lit up with wow. little white lights everywhere. There'd be cars lining the streets into into the snowbanks, and you could hear the laughter, the singing, the music inside this place. And it, until you went to the party, you you would always wonder what is going on in there every year. There it is. Wow. But what struck me about this party was the unity, mm -hmm. the joy in that room. I mean, here were Catholics and Protestants and Buddhists and Rastafarians, and I, I don't wow. know what else was there, but, but <laughs> it was totally joyful. Wow. And these people, for that evening, had put aside whatever their backgrounds were and were celebrating Christmas. And so this story, set in Cape Cod, mm -hmm. in the snow, inside of a, a, the local church the yep. certainly the the matriarch of the of the little yeah. town you know yeah. that 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 is there and inside of the local pub really is where that world and where the culture centers you know and so our story takes place and and our story is certainly about this priest but it's really not about a priest it's about why anybody would do what they do mm. and i promise you something one of the most interesting interesting things is that David Wall's character in this movie, who you play a priest in this film, is basically guilty mm. for the fact that you have gone into the priesthood with, with trying to cover guilt, yeah. trying to, you know, to be a part of of something that's going to kind of be your own attempt at covering your your the your your sins there. of Absolutely. the past or Absolutely. something like that, yeah. and and. That's the wrong reason. Yeah. God says, give that to me. Forgive me. I went to the cross, and your righteousness is as a filthy rag. So this whole movie, I was prepared to see it because of that storyline. was such an interesting thing that happened in the film. With all of that said, Noel, a new feature motion picture, is going to be in the box office December 7th. Father Keen is very powerful as priests go. He's a representative of the archdiocese. He shuts down churches that aren't considered financially viable. Sort of their hitman. Who knows, after the holidays, this place could be full again. Alive. Profitable. Do you enjoy doing this? I mean, you could have had a job in the regular world, and you would have saved yourself a great deal of abstinence if you guys are still into that sort of thing. You guys obviously aren't. Fear not! <laughs> Behold, I bring you good tidings. For unto you is born this day a Savior who is Christ the Lord. King of the Jews, for are we... Oh, I'm sorry, Eugene, I stepped all over your lines. Are you okay? I'm fine. The more I run, the stronger my lungs will become, and the you know, less I'll be affected by the asthma. It's a, it's a theory that I apply to many areas of my life. Did you use that theory when you became a priest? I've reached a point where I can shut a parish down in my sleep, pull a priest and replace him before anybody knows what's hit him. Scrooge was not much in the habit of cracking jokes, nor did he. But just between you and me, 
I avoid the whole people side of things entirely. Being a priest is a privilege, not a punishment. Forgiveness is an awful business, isn't it? But your man here beat you to it. It's not your job. What is my job? To love one another. May I ask you a personal question? You may. Though if it's religious in nature, I may not give you an entirely honest answer. My grandmother thinks you're the worst priest she's ever met. How did you know this is what you were supposed to do?